There are many ways to get into game collecting. By many, I mean one. Money. Spending money. You gotta buy stuff somehow. I mean, come on. Just, you're just gonna need a lot of money for something like this, or any form of collecting. But you don't have to break the bank in order to buy a copy of Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy. I'm going to show you some money-saving tips when it comes to game collecting. Assuming your local store doesn't have every single game in existence, eventually you're going to have to go to eBay. Now a lot of people price their stuff differently for whatever reason, personal value, whatever, dabbity dabbity woobity bobbity. But there is a very easy tool, or by tool I mean website, that you can use for free to judge to see if you're getting ripped off or not. Pricecharting.com, it's a great tool. It shows you how much a game has sold for on eBay, Amazon, wherever, recently, or in that specific month. And you can check the prices over time to see how much the prices have grown or inflated. On the topic of prices, there are many, 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 many different reasons as to why a game's price could be the way it is. It could either be a really good game, and people want it. It's really rare, and that's also why people want it. Or, the, or it's just expensive for no reason, you know? You also gotta factor in what the condition of the game is. A game just by itself, the disc, cartridge, or whatever, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cheap compared to complete in box. Pretty much every single time, I genuinely can't think of a time where it would be more expensive. And also, games that like use cardboard boxes for their packaging are gonna be more expensive complete in the box because people back then just threw away the cardboard. They weren't thinking, oh man, I'm gonna flip this on eBay in 30 years. This also affects the prices of games that came in plastic cases, for example, Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis games are way easier and cheaper to find complete in the box compared to Super Nintendo because Genesis used plastic cases for most of, it, of its library. Same philosophy applies to CD-based consoles that used strange cases, I guess, for their packaging. For example, the Sega Saturn and Sega CD, I guess. Okay, now that you've bought your game of choice, where do you put it? Just put it on a shelf or something, I don't know. If you're buying, like, a lot of games, it is so much better to just stack them horizontally like a bookshelf. Just use a bookshelf. Just stack them like books, you know? Now that you have your games, you're probably going to need a console, and console collecting, you just need a console, preferably one that works and of your region, whatever it is. There's different variations of consoles out there, but it's not as, but this ain't, this ain't console collecting. Tune in next week for that. But this was just a mere overview of the vast, expansive world of game collecting. And also the very, 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 very expensive world of game collecting.